What's going on guys? Amber the Hammer here. So today I'm going to talk about a, a technique of progression that I use. I have four different methods of measuring progression and obviously different methods are going to apply to different clients, different athletes, and different people in general. So I, if you're a client, a coach, um, a trainer, whatever you are guys, or just an average Joe in the gym, use one of these four methods of progression or use multiple methods that I give you um, to measure your progression. Obviously progression is important um, and means of measuring your progression is important because you, you want to get to a goal and you know you may have the goal but if you don't have the the blueprint to getting there um, and, and the way to check if you're you know accomplishing those smaller goals up until that big goal um, you know it can become discouraging and you probably won't achieve the results you want um, so uh, I'll give you these four methods. Obviously, the first one is pictures, right? And I use this method with people that are wanting to do a show. The reason is because, you know, they're stepping on stage. They're not lifting weight on stage. They're not, it's not about who's the strongest on stage or who's who weighs the most or the least, unless obviously there's uh, body weight requirements there. But for the most part, it's who can get the most ripped, carrying the most amount of muscle mass. Um, and this can apply to people that, you know, are just going on vacation and want to look their best. It doesn't matter how much you bench press while you're on the beach. Um, so the most important thing, obviously, is how you look in the mirror. Uh, so, you know, get your client or, you know, take pictures of yourself um, and just keep those pictures every single week. And it's, it's good to do that. Um, you know, don't just take one picture and then, you know, wait after eight weeks and take another one. Take pictures in between. And that way you can see from a week to week basis, are you progressing? Is your client progressing? Um, you know, if, if, from week one to two you haven't changed or week one to four you haven't changed, you know you gotta fix something. And sometimes we forget because we see ourselves on a daily basis, you know, we look in the mirror um, on a daily basis after you take a shower or brush your teeth or whatever you guys are doing. Um, you know, you, you kind of forget you don't realize how much your body has changed, you know? Some people may see you after, and they haven't seen you for a year and they're like, wow, you've changed. But to yourself, when you look in the mirror, you haven't changed. And that's because you see yourself so often. You've seen yourself throughout the progression. So that's why it's important that you have pictures throughout so you can actually compare, look back and compare and say, okay, wow, I actually did improve. You know, sometimes I have clients that say, well, I feel like I didn't really have any results in the last month and I look at pictures they sent me four weeks ago and I compare and I send it and they're like wow I did change a lot so um, obviously the mirror taking pictures is an excellent way um, but it doesn't apply to every athlete or every client or every person right so it depends on your goal um, another way of measuring your progression is performance. So I like doing this one a lot um, with people that are obsessive over their scale weight and how they look in the mirror. Some people, you know, they, they just hate how they look in the mirror or some people hate weighing themselves. I'm not going to get them to weigh, weigh themselves, guys. It's a stupid way of measuring progression if you hate doing it. Why would you do something you hate? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. So if someone hates weighing themselves or hates taking pictures, um, Get them to get stronger. Get them to get faster. Make sure that every single time they're going to the gym, they're getting stronger or faster. They're lifting more weights, more reps, whatever it is, but their performance is improving. Um, obviously, for certain athletes, it doesn't matter, you know, how they look in the mirror, uh, or at least I hope not. Um, you know, but some athletes do have eight, uh, weight requirements, some, you know, fighters and things like that. So, um, Athletes obviously focus on performance and the looks of, of, of the sport and, and the position they're playing for, uh, playing, um, are a byproduct of, uh, you know, the looks are a byproduct of that. You know, you see UFC fighters that are shredded. You see boxers that are shredded, sprinters, football players that are shredded, guys. These guys are not focused on, you know, getting, looking a certain way in the mirror. They're focused on being optimal in that position and that sport they're playing. Um, so, you know, you can still get the results. You know, the, the, the looks will come as a byproduct, um, obviously, of how you're training. So get your clients to focus on performance, um, you know, and obviously if your goal is performance for some of you guys that are athletes out there focus on getting your your body weight and your body fat within that percentage that's optimal for that sport so you know an olympic sprinter there's only going to be a few one or two percent difference in body fat from the best to you know last place sprinter in the olympics um, but they're all at the olympic level so they're all going to be relatively the same for that sport so train according to your sport um, but if your goal is still you know to get in shape aesthetically um, and you hate looking in the mirror hate weighing yourself then don't do it guys it's simple as that um, so obviously performance is another one. Uh, the third one, body weight, body fat guys. So, you know, this is important. Uh, it goes hand in hand with the mirror. Um, but weighing yourself guys, I, I probably don't recommend it to most people unless your goal is to get bigger, gain muscle. Um, don't weigh yourself, especially a lot of female clients I notice hate doing this. So I'm not going to make them do it. And a lot of ladies out there guys, if you guys hate doing it, don't do it. 
You know, if you hate weighing yourself, stop weighing yourself. Um, you know, if you're okay with it, then fine. Um, but it, it's not an accurate indication of, of, of your body composition, right? So your scale weight doesn't mean much. If you weigh 200 pounds, um, you know, but this week you gained a pound of muscle, you stayed at the same amount of body fat, but uh, <clears throat> you're technically your scale weight went up. So you're at 201 pounds now, but your body fat went down because your body fat is a percentage um, of obviously your fat and your muscle mass. So your body fat realistically went down, but your scale weight went up. So don't use that. And obviously there's other factors such as water, um, you know, glycogen in the muscle. There's so many other factors, guys. So, you know, don't use that scale. I would say for most people, don't do it. Um, you know, lean body mass obviously is a much better method. Um, so body fat percentage, measuring your body fat. So obviously a lot more uh, accurate and a lot more, uh, it, it works a lot better if your goal is, you know, to get in better shape. So stay away from the scale, uh, measure your body fat. There's different methods. There's some better than others. You can look into that. Um, but the last method that is one of my personal favorites is for people that absolutely hate weighing themselves. They hate looking in the mirror, um, you know, and maybe for, you know, they're having a hard time progressing as far as in the gym and it takes a bit longer than others because obviously sometimes gaining strength is not the easiest thing, you know, every single workout. So it can become discouraging. Um, it is your heart rate, you know, wear a heart rate monitor for everything that you do. When you wake up in the morning, check your heart rate, guys. If you, is your heart rate going down? Is your resting heart rate going down? Um, is your body working less to perform the same activities? You know, if, if you're waking up every day and your heart rate's going lower and lower um, from a higher range, obviously, then your, your body's probably getting healthier. Your body doesn't need to, to pump as much blood, sorry, beat as much to pump the same amount as blood throughout your body. So, um, when you're doing activities, you know, through your workouts, you, you do X amount of cardio, 30 minutes worth of cardio, whatever it is that you're doing, um, and you burn 500 calories. If you burn 400 calories in that same amount of cardio, same, um, you know, same intensity, same everything, a month later, chances are you're prog you're progressing because your body burnt 100 less calories to do that same workout, which means that your body doesn't need to work as hard to perform that same workout. So you know, and obviously our heart is the most important factor in our body, the most important organ in our body. Um, you know that it's gonna give us an accurate indication whether we're healthy or not. Our body does not lie to us. Our body's gonna give us, you know, signals and signs whether, you know, we're healthy or we're not. So, you know, our heart's gonna determine a lot about our body. Um, and it's a great way to measure, you know, when you're doing your cardio, even during your weights, guys, you know, you want your heart rate to come back down quicker. If it takes you a lot longer to recover, chances are you're not as in a, in a, as healthy state as you wanna be. So work on that, focus on that. Forget about the mirror, forget about the weight, uh, forget about your body weight, and, and even how much you're lifting, guys. Focus on getting your heart better. Um, and th those are four methods that I use with clients, with myself. Um, and that I want you guys to start incorporating into your program too and, and hopefully they help you to achieve your goal because you know that you need progression to achieve a goal. You don't just start and, and then hope to end somewhere one day. Um, you need guidance and you need uh, milestones throughout that goal and you know if, if your goal is in 12 weeks, you want milestones throughout that. You don't just want to, you know, get a program from someone and then 12 weeks later or you know you write a program and 12 weeks later you hope you're there no you want to have check-ins you want to check along the way to make sure you're getting towards your goal um so as always guys subscribe to my youtube channel um check us out hammerfitness.com uh instagram amber the hammer uh, send us any questions guys i love answering questions we're getting back into it now a bit more uh, we've been really busy um we love the support you guys have given us but thank you so much and we're going to keep it up and helping you guys achieve your goal with